Hello everybody, welcome to Storytime with Bridie. Today we have a funny book. It's called Mrs. Bubbles Baby and it's by Margaret Mahi and it's so excellent. <laughs> Mrs. Bubble had a teeny tiny baby. For breakfast he ate a crumb of bread and drank a drop of milk. All the other babies in the street ate a slice of bread and drank a bottle of milk. Very well, said Mrs. Bubble. I will take my baby to Dr. Fixer. Dr. Fixer was not an ordinary doctor. She looked at Mrs. Bubble's baby and said, Take your baby home. Sit him in the middle of the table. You must dance around him playing on these magic bagpipes. Then you must sing this song to him. Blow, little bagpipes. Blow, blow, blow. Grow, little baby. Grow, grow, grow. And you can see with one look at this picture that that doctor is not an ordinary doctor. She is quite something special. <gasps> thank you, thank you, dear Dr. Fixer, cried Mrs. Bubble. But Mrs. Bubble, listen carefully. Only play the magic bagpipes and sing the song once. That will be quite enough. Do you think she's going to listen? Mm -mm -mm. Mrs. Bubble took her baby home. She sat him on the table. She danced around the table playing the magic bagpipes. Then she sang, blow little bagpipes, blow, 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 grow little baby, grow, grow, grow. The baby grew and grew. Dinner, he said, dinner. He ate a whole slice of bread and drank a whole bottle of milk. He's bigger, but not big enough, said Mrs. Bubble. She danced around the table playing the magic bagpipes. Then she sang, Blow, little bagpipes. Blow, blow, blow. Ooh, you okay? Grow, little baby. Grow, grow, grow. The baby grew even bigger. Dinner, he said. Dinner. He ate a whole loaf of bread and drank four bottles of milk. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. My baby must be the biggest in town, said Mrs. Bubble. She danced around the bagpipe, around the table, <laughs> playing the magic bagpipes. Then she sang. Blow, little bagpipes, blow, blow, blow. Grow, little baby, grow, grow, grow. The baby grew and grew and grew. Dinner, he cried. Dinner, dinner. He ate ten oranges, nine bananas, eight apples, seven sausages, six pears, five loaves of bread, four eggs, three cakes. We could eat three cakes, eh? <laughs> Two puddings and a big pot of pot of porridge. Then he drank a bucket of milk. That's big enough, said Mrs. Bubble. But the baby kept on growing. The table broke, but the baby kept on growing. The baby grew up to the ceiling, but still he kept on growing. The baby grew through the ceiling, but still he kept on growing. The baby grew until his head came out through the roof. Then he stopped growing. Dinner! He shouted, dinner, dinner, dinner. Everybody stopped. Everybody stared. It's a balloon, said the butcher. It's a bun, said the baker. It's a great big baby, said the Plunkett nurse. Bless me, he's the biggest baby in town. There she is there, the Plunkett nurse, saying, biggest baby. You are a noisy what baby. Is the nurse? It's the Plunkett nurse there. There? Yeah. What is the Plunkett nurse? Blanket nurse is a nurse who comes and checks when you're a baby. Because we live a little bit far away, we had a different nurse. But they, they come around and check everyone. Can you please leave that quiet? Because everyone is hearing what a noisy, noisy person you are. <laughs> Do you mind? No, I didn't think you did. Through the air on her vacuum cleaner came Dr. Fixer. Mrs. Bubble, Mrs. Bubble, I see you're in a lot of trouble. Dr. Fixer perched on the roof beside the baby. She opened her doctor's bag and brought out a magic fiddle. She danced backwards around the baby playing her fiddle. As she danced, she sang a little, little tune on my fiddle dee dee, a song for a baby who was wee, wee, wee. The baby grew smaller. His head came down through the roof. Dr. Fixer played her fiddle dee dee again. She sang once more. A little, little tune on my fiddle dee dee, a song for a baby who was wee, wee, wee. The baby grew all the way down to its proper size. Dr. Fixer looked at Mrs. Bubble sternly. Magic is like medicine, she said. Too much is 
bad for you. It was about to say good for you. <laughs> then she danced and she pranced and away flew she with her vacuum cleaner and her bagpipes and her fiddle D D. Ow. Mrs. Babble did not care. Hey! <laughs> Her baby was the proper size at last. For his tea that night, he ate a slice of meat cup here. <laughs> and he drank a bottle of milk. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. Sorry about the distraction. <laughs> Bye.